Let's discuss Romanticism versus Neoclassicism. First, we'll talk about Romanticism. This painting is called Liberty Leading the People by Eugene Delacroix. Romantic art often depicted real historical events, in this case the French Revolution. It is also very chaotic in nature, it brings about tremendous emotion, and it is slightly erotic with how Lady Liberty is depicted as partially nude. Another major characteristic of romantic paintings are the dramatic skies. This romantic painting is called The Nightmare by Henry Fuseli. The major element in this is once again the idea of emotion and imagination. And the distressed woman in white surrounded by her fears. Also the use of strong contrast like the dark background with the dramatic light. The last romantic painting we will discuss is The Wanderer by Friedrich. This piece portrays the ideal of the romantic hero. It also uses nature as the main piece of the composition, idealizing it as this perfect unending world. The loose brushwork in this piece is also a quality of romantic paintings. And now on to neoclassicism. The first neoclassic piece we will discuss is The Oath of Harati by David. Neoclassicism focused on high moral values and in this painting it's swearing allegiance to protect the people as the three brothers get ready for war. Neoclassic paintings often show depth and perspective accompanied with ar architectural elements such as the arches and columns portrayed here. The second and final neoclassic piece we will discuss is The Death of Socrates, which is also by David. Once again, this piece is depicting high moral values and portrays Socrates standing up for the idea of what is right and wrong. This piece also portrays ideals of the Enlightenment, which was a hot subject for neoclassical art. And that wraps it up. Hopefully you can see the differences between neoclassicism and romanticism.